Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 Group, FX, and VCA channels. Group and FX channels are a signal processing path. It can be created from the Audio Connection window under Studio. Group and FX channels offer the same options as track channels, including EQ, inserts, sand, direct routing, etc., to affect the audio of all associated channels. External effects hardware can easily be integrated into a group or effect channels via the Insert section of New Window 11. Group and effect channels can have any number of automation tracks, can be automatically placed in a special group or effects folder in a track list for easy management, and each group and effects track has a corresponding channel in a mix console. Now the group or effect channel's volume control adjust the level of all associated tracks as a whole before routing the audio onto outputs. VCA channel, which stands for Voltage Control Attenuator, originally found on a hardware mixing desk, adjusts the volume level of all associated channels relative to their initial volume position. For example, if we look at this diagram, the VCA level of the VCA channel reduced the volume level of the three blue linked tracks by minus 10 dB from the initial position. Now, a VCA channel is not an audio path and only provides an alternate way to control multiple fader levels from a single independent fader. In the context of a Dolby Atmos project, creating separate VCA channels for audio bed channels and object channels is an easy way to handle the levels of your project globally. VCA channels can be used to adjust the volume levels of all associated channels, including group channels, other VCA channels, effect channels, or output channels. You can combine the automation of the connected channels and the VCA fader automation, activate, deactivate the VCA fader or any associated channel independently, or reset the VCA fader to its original position at any time. Now you can add groups, effects, or VCA channels using the Add Track window, which offer options and preferences, including output destinations for the groups and effect channels, and folder locations for the VCAs. You can also create and assign tracks to groups, effects, or VCA channels by right-clicking on the Project Window Track section. Now let's take a look at how you would utilize groups, effects, and VCA channels within a stereo, surround, and Dolby Atmos project, starting with the Stereo Music Project. In this project, we have a combination of MIDI, audio, and virtual instrument tracks. And if we look at the audio connection window, we have a Stereo Out, Man Bus, a couple of group channels for the strings and piano, and several effect channels used with different virtual instruments using the Audio Send section of the inspector. On a few audio channels, using the Send section on the Inspector or Mix Consoles, both group channels, as well as a couple of FX channels in this project. Now the groups and FX channels in this example are routed to the stereo main outputs, but you could easily route a group channels to another group or FX channel, or route an FX channels to another group or another FX channel. Note that the Send functions can be used pre-fader in blue, or post fader in orange. Now this project is only using one VCA called Master VCA, and if we look at the mix console, a total of 14 channels have been assigned to the Master VCA, which include effect channels, group channels, as well as audio and virtual instrument tracks. Now the Master VCA is only controlling the volume level of all associated tracks relative to the initial volume position helping to blend the different volume level of each track when mixing. Compared to a group channel volume control, adjusting the volume of all associated channels as a whole. Now if we take a look at a 5.1 surround project, looking at the audio connection group effects tab, we have three main groups for dialogue, music, and effects routed to the 5.1 main output bus, and one group for background routed to the FX group. A couple of FX channels routed to the main 5.1 output bus, 
and shell buses can be added to a group or FX channels to only send signal to a specific speaker or group of speakers like quad for the FX group or front and left and right surround stereo for an FX channels, for example. Now each track can be routed to a specific group, FX channel, specific speaker or group of speakers. In addition, direct monitoring can be used to send signal to multiple groups or FX channels at the same time. The send function can be used to send signal pre or post fader to any available speaker, group of speakers, or group FX or output channels. Each group can be added to the monitor source function of new window 11 control room to solo a specific group or multiple groups at the same time using the multiple monitor sources function. Now for this project, I've created a few VCA channels to control the volume level of multiple channels with one independent fader available on the mix console to recall during mixing. And a master VCA to control all the VCA channels in this example. Now each created group and effect channel can be exported as a separate stem file and a file export audio mix down. Finally, let's take a look at the 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos project using the integrated VST Dolby Atmos renderer. Looking at the audio connection window, Group Effects tab, I've created three 7.1.2 groups for dialogue, music, and effects routed to the main 7.1.4 output bus, a background group routed to the FX group channel, and a Foley group routed to the background group channel. An ambisonic group channel was also created for stereo bandwall monitoring. We also have three 7.0.2 FX channels with reverb plugins for the music, FX, and dialogue group channels, and a few child buses were added to each FX channels, background, and Foley group channels. Now in this project example, I have added the three main groups, dialogue, music, and FX, to the VST Dolby Atmos renderer, and only a few object channels using the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window. Now send, direct routing, and the monitor sources function of new window 11 can be used when using the VST Dolby Atmos renderer with the control room. Now VCA channels can be used to blend different track automation. For example, I have created a VCA channels to control the volume of object channel in this project and I can easily override the volume automation of different object channel by pressing and holding the Option key. Write volume automation for the VCA channel, which will show on each channel associated with the VCA. Notice the two volume automation curves on the tracks controlled by the VCA channel. One is related to the object channel automation, and the other to the VCA automation, which can be adjusted manually using the diamond shape icons available below each event. Finally, you can combine the volume automation of each channel linked to the VCA channel with the VCA channel automation by selecting the Combine Automation of VCA and Connect option on the VCA setting tab of the Mix Console. Now, a different combination of group bed channels and object channels can be exported using the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window by simply add or remove different bed group channels or object channels from the ADM authoring window. For example, to only export music and effects and associated object channels, remove the dialog bed from the ADM authoring window and click export ADM file. Thanks for watching.